Hello guys, what is up? It is Dylan here, and today I want to play Alien Isolation. I've done a mini test recording, so I think I can be okay. So I, I skipped the few opening cutscenes just to get straight to the gameplay, uh, just to see if I could record the game, and it seems okay. We're playing at max settings, and I did not expect to do that, so we're going to start a new game. Uh, we're going to play on hard because I am fucking hardcore, so yes. Like I said, I did skip ahead a little bit. I'll, I'll turn up the gamma a little bit for you guys. Uh, that's probably too much. Right there, should be fine. I don't know if it's going to come out well in the YouTube video or what, but we should be okay. I haven't seen any of the cutscenes or anything like that, so... Yeah, I, I'm really excited for this game, though, guys. I'm just going to be completely honest. I know I just started my Amnesia series, and, like, I was going to replay... I was going to play through the entire game, but this came out. I'm going to play this first. We'll go back, and we'll Final play... report of the commercial Starship Amnesia, mission. but, yeah. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew... I forgot Kane. to turn on... Subtitles. Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. So, I am a huge fan, fan of the Alien series. I love the fucking movies, uh, except for like three, obviously. But even then, I like three a little bit, you know. It's like, I, I am so excited to play this. I really hope that this game is good. It just literally came out, so there's like no reviews or anything, so. Ripley? Yeah. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. <laughs> it's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a... Uh, Permanent free port. I know what it is. Ooh. Wrecked. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We. Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Of course he's going to accept. I'm fucking hyped for this game, guys. You guys have no idea. I just want to get, like, right into the gameplay. I played a little, like, I literally played, like, five minutes just to do a test recording. It seemed okay. If we get some frame rate problems, then yeah, but this game actually runs really fucking well, so... Uh, I don't think we'll be encountering that, and if we do, then we'll, we'll just have to deal with it. 
uh, or I can like adjust the settings, but I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Okay, so, oh man, E to sign in, A Ripley, this game looks, uh, it's, it's very reminiscent of the movies already, I will say that. Very, very reminiscent of the movies. Get dressed. Whoa, that was weird. All right. I can't see my legs. Okay, looks like a shower. Pretty neat. Toilet's out of order. Let's see, everyone's signed in. Get dressed, is what that said. I have shoes on now. Alright. I hear beeping. Access terminal. Personal just missed you. Bellini, you're on the. Oh man, this looks just like the fucking movies. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. Page up, page down. Oh, that's one of my recording buttons. Well, we can do page down, I think. Yeah. So we can look down, but we can't go back up because page up is my start recording button. Didn't think it would be used, but I guess it makes sense. Maybe I will change it. What is that beeping? You guys hear that, right? Is it just this? Save game. Yes. Take all our. All right. Okay. Is that it for this room? I think so. So we're on the ship. We got a suit here. Can we explore like the entire ship? That'd be cool. I hope whenever the uh, Whenever we uh, actually start playing, you know, like we get on the ship with the alien, I wonder if we will actually, like, be able to explore the entire ship. And, like, if I could spot the areas from the movie and shit, that would be really cool. I'm hoping it's like that. There's a lady back there, but I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Alright. Got a thing there. I'm, eh, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Obviously, this is like the tutorial Jane. area. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's normal either. Sorry. Oh, we need to turn on the subtitles. Sorry. I, I just can't play without the subtitles. There we go. Alright. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. 
The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realise your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Right. <laughs> Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. If we find up. Ripley alive... That would, uh, I don't know how I, would, how I would feel about that personally, if we find Ellen Ripley alive, but, you know, if we find anyone alive on the ship that isn't explained well, I'm going to be upset, because they pulled that shit in the aliens, colonial or marines or whatever, uh, what's his name, lived, spoiler, uh, Oh, I can't remember his name. He was an alien, uh, two, I think. So, he lived some somehow. Uh, he got sprayed in the face with fucking acid and lived. I can't remember his fucking name, but that was like what, like how? Okay, so where the fuck am I going? Can I have a map? I am pressing all of the like standard map buttons. Tab is it is. Okay, so speak to Samuels right there. I like this map screen. I do like that map screen. Oh, man. I love this fucking game right now. Atmosphere is great. Very, very reminiscent of, uh... You know, the, uh... Alien movies. I can't wait to see how the Xenomorphs look. Or it's probably just gonna be the one. I realize it's a very similar model to the Nostromo. Yes, the Nostromo. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor okay? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. Hmm. She's a skilled executive. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Looks like we're up. Oh, cool. <laughs> Man, I like this game right now. <laughs> I, you guys just have, like, no idea how excited I've been to play this game. Ever since I heard about it, I've been hyped as shit. Uh, like I said, I'm a huge Alien fan. Uh, I just love the the universe and, like, the xenomorphs and shit. It's, it's easily one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. Uh, and there has not been a, uh, I was like, <laughs> there has not been a good Alien game, uh, like, ever. It may be some of the earlier ones. God, fucking doors. <laughs> uh, maybe earlier ones, but, you, you know. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say... Oh, oh man, that's so cool! Does everyone have their briefing document? I can't crush. Watch the approach in the monitor. Get your briefing document. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was just looking around. I'm so excited, dude. God. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Punch up 74 like times. I like how they just make screwed. up words. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair registration number MSV7760 calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Hello, 
Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrin. Say again. I just realized we're not actually going on the ship that was in the movie. We're going to the space station, I think, that the Ellen Ripley might have landed up. on. So our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep could be wrong. in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. <laughs> Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. This game looks really good, by the way. Uh, my computer is having, like, zero stutter, zero frame rate problems. I don't know if that's going to be the case up ahead, but... Depressurizer. I, I only have, like, a mid-range PC. Me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Grabbed onto the ladder. Taylor, respond to anybody. Oh, they're fucked. Oh my god, they're gonna get lot. They're like launched into deep space. If they survive that, I'd be surprised. This is gonna be a good game. This is gonna be a good game. I am fucking hyped. I'm ready. Let's go. I wanna kill this motherfucking xenomorph. I've been told several times it's only one, but we'll see. They could throw some shit at us. Never know. And there's actually another mode called survival, so if we beat this, uh, if we beat the campaign and we feel like playing after the campaign, we'll do survival and see what that's all about. I think it's just like a harder version of the game. So we are playing on hard, by the way. I think this is where the game actually, like, you know, starts. Find help. Change. Oh, took off the suit. Okay. I don't know if I'll need the suit, though. I'm assuming no. We're in a pressurized cabin, so... Should be okay. Oh, man, guys. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. Alright, what did I just pick up? I didn't even read that. Registration points. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Oh, it's like a timer. I see. So when you save, you're still in danger even if you try and save. Oh my god. So, are those the only save points, I wonder? It's like Dead Space. Uh, like Dead Space, you know how every game now just has like auto save and checkpoint where it's like, okay, checkpoint, you're 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 okay now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. It's dark as shit. Go over here first. I can like hear someone talking. Oh, I said that's a loop. Okay. I think that's a loop. So it looks like I was right. That is a loop.
Jesus fuck. Shit. Scared the shit out of me. It was loud. <laughs> Push that. Huh. Oh, what? No. Oh, God. Is this going to be my first encounter with the Xenomorph? Oh, God. I should probably get out of the vents since I'm coughing so much. High oxygen environments could be a very dangerous fire. How do I stand up? There's a... I don't know how you crouch in this game, I just realized. Okay, it's C. It's old school. C to crouch. Not old school, old school, but you know. Seed crouch kind of makes sense. Button layout is slightly different from uh, other FPS games, but you know, or it's not it's not a shooter, I guess, but you know, first person games. Got terminal here. Folder corrupted, corrupt, corrupted. Jeez. Go back. Okay. Nothing there. Oh god, Jesus. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. oh. God damn, that is right. Flare. This will help. This will help. Q to open the radial inventory and use the mouse. Wait, what did it say? Use the mouse to select. Oh, I got it. Okay. So you just click on it, I guess. Designed for a controller. Can't. Can't help. Uh, you know, I definitely prefer to play first-person games with the mouse. R to activate. Oh, C to crouch. I'm fucking retarded. Ram mouse button to hold in, in place. Well, we, we don't want to do that. You always know working Joe. Someone new? Strangers will be... Story? What the fuck? Keep moving. Oh, I put the flare down. Okay. Yep, the flare is just down there, I think. Yep, it looks like it. Collect scrap. Turn that off. Binding agent. Hello? Anyone here? Anyone here? Passcode required. So I wonder if this is like a free roam type game where you know. You can you have access to all parts of the ship, or if it's going to be like kind of Dead Space style, where you need like key cards or something to access certain levels and things like that. Or I mean like Metal Gear style, not Dead Space, where it's like you have access to the entirety of the game from the beginning, but you need the key cards to get to like other areas and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I have a feeling that is going to be important to remember for later. Let's see, we got terminal here, moved our stash. Goodbye from this guy. I oh, got an audio. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this ship's over. Wait up. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering what the countdown was. That was a timer. Gosh, that's gonna fuck me over at some point, isn't it? The fucking save point. Oh. Alright. So that's what that beeping is. It's the save point. Uh, so we, we have a door here. Let's go down here and see if we opened up anything else. Alright, got couple doors here. That one looks like it's locked. Take that stuff. Oh man, guys. Why, why is my health low? Oh, it's co probably because I fell down the, uh, the hole there earlier. Okay. Looks good. Keep on moving. Oh, you can actually walk around that. I can sprint, but we will try and uh, not do that in case we. it's like, you know, one of those games. Whoa. Sorry, my keyboard was like locked to the side there. That was weird. Okay. Oh, boy. to crouch. Med kit. Blueprint collected. Flare. Q to access the crafting menu. Oh. Med kit. So, to create a med kit, we need forty five scrap. Okay, so we need an injector. Okay, God, this menu is a little bit. So, this must be like the maximum amount of things I can hold. Uh, and this is how much scrap I need. I see. Enter to... Oh! I had all the items. Okay, I see. Item constructed. Cool, so now I have a med kit. How do I bring up the radio menu? Neat. Oh, so I see. You, if you click on it, that's, that's like a menu to craft it. I see. But if you just hover over it, then you just get it. R to activate. Well, I don't need to activate it right away, do I? Anyway, we got the med kit. Let's bring out the flare again. What the hell happened here? Oh, it's like a... It's like a terminal. Looks like we're orbiting some kind of gas planet. Low orbit space station over uh, some gas planet. No entry. My nose itches. My nose itches a lot. Oh. Sorry. Okay. And to get that out of there. 
So yeah, we're going to be uh, pausing the amnesia, amnesia series, uh, and we'll be doing this instead for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, I apologize, guys, because I know I just started the series. I have a bad habit of just not finishing games when I start them. Torrens. Hello. I'm right here. We're lame. I don't know if she saw me. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Oh. The windows are closing. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Well, there's light over here. Oh my foot. Ugh. I don't necessarily need to activate the flare right away. I hope we get a flashlight. We can aim it. We can like throw it. Ion torch required. I can see a lot better like this if I aim it to throw. <laughs> this thing is like in my face. Like why couldn't you just hold it like this? Fucking flare. I see, we went the backward ass way. Let's get back up there. I wonder how long this flare lasts. Cause it's gotta have some kind of limit. Doubt it's unlimited. You know, flares do not last an infinite amount of time in real life, but they do last a while. God, the flare makes it to where you really can't see. Let's just throw it. We're better off without it. Crouch. Hey, look at that, another flare. I don't know if the flare will deter the xenomorph, I doubt it. Oh god. <sighs> it's like an arcade machine. Oh, wait. These aren't arcade machines. Oh wait. They kind of are. That one's an arcade machine. Oh, this is an arcade. I'm fucking retarded. All right. The door opened over there. Oops. What's this? Do? Oh, you can like peer over ledges if you hold control. Oh, that's neat. That is really neat. You can. It's like you can peek with amnesia if you hold down control. And you can also, like, lean over and, like, look at stuff. Okay. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. 
Feels like we're on our own now. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not taking, like, a, a long time to read those. I'll just kind of skim them. But I will leave you guys the opportunity to pause and read if you want. So this, I just want to make sure. This leads to nowhere, right? This isn't, like, secret, like, vent or something. I guess I should be looking out for those kinds of things, like vents. Like this. Okay. I see. I didn't see that. I apologize. Moving onward. Yeah, that's cool looking. Oh boy. Ugh. Alright, so now we kind of know what to look for. So I didn't see the vent. I apologize, guys. Didn't see the vent. This whole damn place is falling apart. Apparently this whole damn place is falling apart. Let's go over here. I think there's some goodies. Nope. They're blocked off. What's in the vent? Oh, we can use that. We can go through the vent. Oh boy. The coughing is, uh, I believe it's going to, like, alert. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, it's a person. What the fuck? Oh, I guess we're not on the actual ship. The, what is it called? The Nosdormu or some shit like that? We're on the, or not the Nosdormu. That's the, we're not on the ship from the movie. We're on the space station. Not the ship. Okay. I'm going to get, like, scared, aren't I? Like, I'm going to die several times. We are playing on hard, so... What's that body bag? Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go this way, I guess. Yeah. Well, actually, let's explore this room first and then we will move onward. Because I thought that just led upstairs or something. Clearly, it does not. Maybe this leads upstairs. Plasma torch. So we need a couple different types of torches, is what it looks like. That's got to be the exit up ahead. Get through the main door. Maintenance jack. Hmm. All right, we can do that. We can most definitely do that. Restore power. Ah, right. So I think I kind of see a theme here. So each one of these little sections here, it's like they're out of power. And for each section, I have to find the power and then restore the power in the section, and then I can move on. So 
Okay, I kind of get the the idea, the theme. Looks like the power is going to be over here. All right. Got some like luggage here. I wonder why this opened up. Probably so I can go up those stairs. So it looks like we need a maintenance jack to get through that. Looks like there's some goodies in there. That door's locked. That door goes down there. Alright. Iron torch. So we need iron torch and a maintenance jack for some of these doors. Alright. Plasma torch. So Iron Torch, Plasma Torch, Maintenance Jack. We need to try and remember those things. Alright. So I don't think there's anything up here. But all I know is that the door upstairs should be unlocked now. So we'll go up there. Make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. It's a lot of dead bodies, by the way. Fuck the marshals. Looters will pay with their lives. Here's save point. Let's go ahead and save. Is it hidden? E to hide. Oh, God. Where is the save point? I need it now. I really don't want to die right now because I haven't saved. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. E to hide. Chris, it's Turner. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Waits. I can't even read that. Maintenance Jack. an Atari 2600 controller, or kind of what that looks like, it's, it's not actually, it's got like, but you know what I mean, it looks kind of like that, I'm just going to turn that off, <laughs> don't want, oh good, the vent, yep, looks like we're going through the vent, ah, fuck, God. <laughs> oh, man. Blood. <laughs> he 
He's not dead, is he? Oh, he's dead. Let her bring it up. Oh, I can't use it as a weapon? Oh, man. Hold RB and LB. Press A. Oh, man. Hello? I want to make a complaint to the, the highest authority, okay? It had like a hammer on it. That's why I wanted to. Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified. Okay. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I know that just... I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure something gets him. Well, tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the door. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Now, I did hear some banging and shit. So it looks like we're going to go back down. Let me save. Yeah, let me save. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. So I'll do that in a second. Because it might trigger an event or something. I found the last power cup. Like, took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing voices everywhere. Every cranking. Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Okay. So we got a thing over here. Okay. Jesus. I'm fucking terrified of whatever xenomorph is coming. Oh, I didn't even go this way, did I? So that's, that's a torch thing. Over here we have, all right, plasma torch, okay. I'll go back. I'm surprised I can't use this thing as a fucking weapon. It's got a huge ass hammer on the end of it. I'm sure it would be effective. All right, so let's go to the door now. Okay. Yep, had a feeling. 
I had a feeling it would start an event. Oh, good. Stay still. Okay. Okay. Turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. And maybe that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. All right. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? What? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. I did. Why? What's in it for me? The place on the ship. How did I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex bar. It's quite a distance, but we can get to the transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? All right, Axel. Dang. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Well, I'm hurrying. Give me a fucking second, guy. Was that you following me back there? I had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Oh God, what's this? so fucking dark. You cannot see shit in the dark. Alright, well, we got some scrap. Type, eh? Yep. Stick close to me. We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Okay. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. Now, why are you so aggressive, asshole? The ship of yours is the real McCoy. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Yes, save. Allow me. This is over. Needs a special touch. So, uh, I'm going to save here. And I'm going to uh, take a break for now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.